everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So for today, we are going to do something different because I am going to show you my purple cactus collection. <laughs> so I have here some of them. I have a lot more but I'm going to present them to you by genus. So a lot of us I know have been collecting the blue colored cactus so that is also looks very pretty but when I looked at my collection I realized I have more purple cacti or purple cacti than blue. I have a few blue cacti they're all columnar but I don't have a lot so I have more purple cactus so that is what we are going to do today is I'm going to show you my purple cactus collection so we're going to start off with the genus gymnocalicium so actually if you look online and search purple cactus most of them will be uh, gymnocalicium so let's start off with the more popular purple gymnocalicium which is the mihanovicii so i have three so these three right here are all gymnocalicium mihanovicii so usually these are the ones that you see grafted so the cultivars the new cultivars of these are the ones that they call mutants because <laughs> they are like all red all yellow orange so they are the ones that are called moon cactus and you see them grafted on top of say a dragon fruit or because they cannot they cannot survive on their own if they don't have green chlorophyll in them usually they don't survive in their own roots so they have to be grafted but the purple ones they can actually grow in their own roots so this is a mihanovicii so it actually comes in like different looks or different forms so these three when i bought them they're all labeled mihanovicii so this one as well as you can see it is a little bit bigger than the first one i showed you and then this one is labeled <clears throat> i'll flash the whole name of this on the screen but this is when i bought this the label said gymnocalicium mihanovicii friedrichi 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 so that is the full name of this cactus now a lot of viewers have been commenting on this one and this is actually a very good uh mihanovicii type because this one stays purple despite the sun exposure so even if it's under partial shade full sun cold weather hot weather the color stays the same it stays bright purple red unlike these other two they have the tendency to turn green when you provide them uh, less sun exposure or when you put them under shade in fact the story how i got this one is i ordered online a mihanovicii and the picture online looks something like this but when this got delivered to me it was all green <laughs> believe it or not it's all green so i complained and i said i think you sent me the wrong cactus and then they said oh it's gonna turn red when you expose it in more sun but anyway to make the long story short they said if you're not um happy with what we sent you would be glad to send you another one and when they sent me the second one it was this which is exactly what was on the picture on the website so i ended up with two mihanovicii but this one like i said it turns purple when you expose it to sunlight but under the shade this is completely green so the flowers of these they're usually pink some are lighter pink some are you know brighter pink but they usually have pink flowers on them so i'm going to show you the flowers of these i'm going to look in my archives in my computer and see if i can show you the flowers of these uh mihanovicii 
And then moving on to these two cacti in the middle, they look similar to a Mihanovicii, but this is actually a Gymnocalisium damsii. So this, they have a nice small pink flowers and I was successful in pollinating them. It's quite easy to pollinate this type of cactus. As you can see here, I have a lot of um, fruit, cactus fruit, which I haven't cleaned yet, but I just leave it there so I know it came from this cactus. And I also was able to sow the seeds of these last year, some of the seeds. And the babies are actually cute. <laughs> so even though they're still small, they already have that purple color on them so the only thing is if you have purple colored seedlings they grow slower than the ones that have green color on them so i have seedlings of the gymnocalisium mihanovicii which has a more green coloring on them and they're very much bigger than this one so the last gymnocalisium that i want to show you is this one this is pretty new it was given to me last year by planet desert so this is the complete name of this cactus so when i got this it was more green um but then when i exposed it to more sun it turned more purple and now it is all purple <laughs> so in the winter even though it's getting less uh, sun now it's still purple so i think the cold weather is uh able to maintain its coloration and i haven't seen the flower on this one yet this is this hasn't flowered for me but i will look it up in the internet and show you the picture of the flower here but look at the spines i like it it has a long spine for a gymnocalisium very very beautiful so in terms of care of this purple gymnocalisium, I actually treat them pretty much the same as my other gymnocalisium except that if you want to maintain the bright purple color, especially for those that have the tendency to turn green when they lack sunlight. So I would suggest that you expose them to sun, but not bright sun, just filtered sun, but provide them enough sunlight for them to bring out that purple color but be aware or beware because they can also burn i will show you how it looks like when it is burned it actually turns um brown you can't see very well here i think but this per this spot right here those actually burned during uh, the summer so they can burn and they will turn brown instead of purple but if you want to maintain the bright purple color of them so expose them to a lot of filtered sunlight okay so that's it for the gymnocalisium now let us move on to the next genus in my cactus that is also colored purple the next one on my list of purple cactus is this Echinocereus rigidissimus. So this is one of my favorite cacti and I, maybe you can tell why because it is very attractive with or without flowers. So it stays this bright pink color all year round and um, I have a couple of this actually growing in my garden so they are able to withstand our desert heat here in um, Las Vegas the they have bright big magenta flowers I made a video of the care about this cactus if you want to see that video I'll put a link up on your screen and also below this video so this is the Echinocereus rigidissimus now off to the next genus Next one I have right here are three genus of cacti. First, this one with a flower buds on them. This is a Neochilinea, so or the more common name now is Ariosis. That is the name of this cactus. So I haven't seen the flower on this one. This is the first time this will flower for me. 
but I am very excited because look at how many buds there are on top of it. It's been growing very, very slow. The buds are developing very slow. I guess because it is winter right now. But they're growing. They're getting there. <laughs> so as you can see, the body as well has a purplish color on it. Very pretty. Okay, so it's more of purple brown. And then this one is a rebutia. So this is rebutia fulvicetta. And this one bring, uh, gives bright red flowers. This one gave me a super bloom the past two years. Hopefully it will give me another super bloom this year. But this one also has a purplish brown body on it. And I like how the yellow spines accents the purple brown color of the cactus. And then finally here, this one is, well, finally for this set, but I have more to show you. <laughs> this is a Copiapoa. This is Copiapoa. Let me check the name. I started them writing down the names on the pot. Copiapoa Calderana. So this was given to me by Daz of Cacti Mania. So as you can see, it also has a purple color on its body. But last summer, when it was... Um, warmer and it received more sunshine its body was actually more purple but now that it's winter and it's getting less sunlight it is somehow turning a little bit green but you can see it is still purple um, on the edges okay so this is Copiapoa calderana hopefully it will flower for me soon as well So I almost forgot these two right here. <laughs> I have two more. This is uh, bef two more before I show you the finale. <laughs> so this is an Ariosis J. Uh, it's hard to pronounce the name on it. So I'll just name it Ariosis J. But this one is very beautiful. The flowers on it. It finally flowered for me last year. It is so pretty. It's pink in color. I will show you the picture of the flower here on the screen but this one is also very tough when it comes to heat i've exposed this to full morning sun here in the desert and he was able to survive it the body stays purple all year round although as you can see it has a tinge of somewhat green on it but predominantly it is purple and then look how vicious those spines looks like it is amazing how the flowers are able to come up on top of those spines and still manage to open and then down here i have a little one this is a sulcorebusha that was given to me this is actually degrafted so this is the golden spines variety so when it was given to me freshly degrafted, it was more purple. But right now I am still rooting it. It has been several months and it hasn't rooted yet. So it turned a little bit green. But like I said, when it was given to me, it was very bright purple. It was very, very pretty. So hopefully when this roots and, you know, starts growing, it will revert back to that bright purple color. And for my finale, I have my purple Opontias. So I have here two in a pot. And then I have one more that is planted in the ground. This is a baby Santa Rita. So this one, I always overwinter this outside. Because I like the way it looks when it is stressed with cold temperature. So it turns this purple color. So with cold temperature it turns it like this but during the summer when it is warmer it actually is more of like this color right here so it still has that purple color even in the summer but it it turns um green and purple but during winter with enough cold temperature it just turns into this bright purple colored pads very very beautiful and then also I have another one here. This one, I, this bigger one, I don't know what the name of, ouch. <laughs> I don't know what the name of this one is. But um, it, this was given to me as a cutting, um, I think 
three, two, three years ago when I signed up for the Cactus and Succulent Society of Nevada. They gave free Opuntia cuttings and I chose this one. So it started with just that pad at the bottom and then after it's it's growing a little bit slower than I expected but after two or three years it developed two more pads on the top but look how long this spine is this is probably what like four or five inches long so this one is also very cold hardy so both of them are very cold hardy so every winter I leave them outside to stress them out with a cold temperature so it'll bring out that purple color on their pads and then I have the big Santarita Opuntia which is in my garden and I'm gonna show it to you here so that when I planted it in the ground it also turns purple in um, colder temperatures actually that one it stays purple even though it is summer so the big Santarita Opuntia stays um, more purple all throughout the year this is my purple cactus collection so it would be nice you know to have some purple colored cactus in your collection because with or without flowers they are very attractive they provide that pop of color in your garden or in your collection all right so if you like this video guys i hope you give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants and i'll see you again next time bye guys and Cheers!